That's why I want to tell you today how would the Maya, Almighty, I am Maya, I am what the Maya, made me to start a YouTube channel. Like, guys, just stay tuned. I'm going to tell you this story and kindly watch this video to the end. I hope Odemaya is going to see this video for me expressing gratitude to him. Like, Odemaya, thank you so much. You've inspired a lot of people across the world, not only to Africa. But Africa, mama, your mama, now your mama. Yeah. If you get to your mama, did it go so for the two person we born you? What's up, my beautiful people? What's up, Africa? What's up, the Jays? This is your boy, the DJ Era Cow. So guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Like, I'm super excited today. I'm so, so happy and grateful as well. You may not know why, but I'm going to tell you why. Now, take a look down there. You're going to see 2,000 subscribers. Yay! Like, guys, I'm so, so happy, man. Fuck, this is more than massive. Like, guys, I'm so happy. And that's why I decided to make this video to express gratitude to all those who have been watching me, those who have subscribed to my channel, those who have been sharing my videos, those who have been sharing my links, like I'm so so happy. And that's why I decided to think today of how did I start up a YouTube channel that I've gone this way far. A journey of thousands of miles, they say, begin with a step. Like we've gone 2,000 steps already. Like, guys, it's so huge to me. And I'm super grateful. I'm so happy. Your boy is humble. So guys, I've been thinking of how I started a YouTube channel. When I hit 2,000 subscribers, I said, wow, how did I come about this idea? How did it go? That's why I want to like give honor and reference to some people. Because even the Bible says that give honor to whom honor is due to. And it says, God will resist the proud and raise humbles. Raise the humbles. So that's why I decided not to be proud. Let me give reference to who deserved it and that's why i want to tell you today how would the maya almighty i am maya i am what the maya made me to start a youtube channel like guys just stay tuned i'm gonna tell you this story and kindly watch this video to the end i hope what maya is gonna see this video for me expressing gratitude to him like what maya thank you so much you've inspired a lot of people across the world not only to africa but across the world and Keep on doing your work like we're going to join you and hopefully we're going to meet at the top guy. Oh, I love you so much, bro. So guys, it all started in October 2018 when I just came to China. Like before me coming to China, I didn't have a lot of education about China. I didn't know how the system functions here, like the immigration policies, if students can do this or that, like all my hope is that I'm going to China to study and I'm going to make money as well. But when I came to China, it was quite a different thing. Like if the Maya watches this video, he's going to testify about this. Like it was quite a different thing. I came to discover that students cannot even work in China. So I was relying on my parents sending me money back home. Like it was so painful because sometimes you need money. You want to contact your parents back home. Maybe they don't have, you know, your struggling parents. Like most of the time, my sister used to like save me she used to send me a little money but how long am i gonna continue to be asking money from back home and the kind of mentality we have back there in africa is like when you've traveled overseas they know that you're fine they know that you have money like oh my god so asking money from back home again seems like a taboo to us africans so it was really really disturbing me i was in shenyang um, i was at dalian and at that time, Odemaya was in Shenyang. Dalian and Shenyang, they are very close cities. Like they are in the same province. So, ah, I was like, how can I do? What can I do to make money? So one friend connected me to one part-time job there because China is all about teaching English. And students are not even allowed to teach English. Like going to teach English in China as a student is illegal. Uh, if the police catch you, you might face some consequences. So when I was going to teach English, oh, my heart was not there, it was beating. I said, what if this police catch me? They're gonna deport me and so on. And then, when I even went for the job, like, all this racism stuff, they told me I'm really, really black. Like, those people were really racist. You know, those kind of thing that you come from, they say, oh, you come from Africa, you are black, we did not want a black teacher 
we needed a white teacher and so on. Like the thing touched me, I was so sad about this whole situation. And then when I went back home, I was crying. Like guys, I cried though. I cried. I like to cry. Oh. So I was crying and said, ah, I can just go me back to Cameroon. Oh. I said, I can just go me back home. Oh. So I went online. I was searching on jobs that foreigners can do in China to make money. I was watching videos on YouTube. So when I search jobs that foreigners can do in China, well, the Maya's videos popped up, like a lot of his videos. I started watching a couple of his videos. I watched how he has made videos about studies in China. I watched another video on how he's made top 10 jobs that foreigners can do in China. Wow. I was like, okay, let me watch this video. I concentrated on the video. I was watching, watching. He was making mention of things like you can do business. You can do teaching, but he also made mention that teaching is illegal. He said you can work as an MC in the club, in a nightclub, or you can do these Chinese social media things like Kwajo, Kugu, Jibo, all those kind of things. He also made mention of YouTube, and then he was like, he made, he said something there that he has made money on YouTube, like the money he has made on YouTube so far, it can buy a house, it can make um buy a car and you reach even where i am at the moment my brother your money that you can make on youtube can buy a house and a car i'm talking from experience the money that i've made on youtube so far oh. can buy a house and a car did you buy a car no i have so many people to take care of you know i'm taking care of the whole family with youtube money wow <laughs> and so on i was like wow so this youtube actually has money like this so and i was watching a lot of his video i watched videos about how he traveled in the train as a black racism when he talked about racism in china i was like wow so this thing this racism thing is not only about me oh. so it's about everybody i watched one of his video where he like it was a, like a drama where he was acting how a black person is going to look for a job and then they refused him they said they want a white then he went he painted his face with white calabachok things like that <laughs> then he went they accepted him so when i watched that video i was like wow so many foreigners in, in china are actually facing this racism kind of things it touched me i was like ah so this thing is not only me it's not only me everybody he i watched videos about like he made a lot of videos so i started getting motivated about the whole issue i was like ah so firstly I can also preach about racism in China, how foreigners are undergoing or, or, or all these kind of things with the Chinese and so on. I said, I can talk about that too. And also, it can make me to have money. I can earn money. Look at what the Maya, he said that the money he has made on YouTube, he can buy a house and he can buy a car. That means I can also make money. Oh. I started being motivated about all this. I was so motivated. I said, ah, I like this guy. Oh. I said, I like this guy. Then I saw the way he was interacting with Chinese. Ah, it was so good. At that time, I did not know even kick in Chinese. The only thing I know is ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. I was like, ah, how can I be like this guy? I want to be like this guy. Let me also be taking videos with Chinese, blah, blah, blah. So I looked at my phone. <laughs> the phone that I brought in China. Oh my God, I'm going to show you guys. Like, this is the phone that I brought in China. They were, I brought two phones, one Samsung and one Infinix, but they were all crazy phones. Like this Samsung, I used to even, you know, the battery was not really good. I used to bend papers, twist papers, and then pack the battery with it. So I was like, how can I even start a YouTube channel with this phone? Eh? Ah, a lot of things were troubling my mind. So I was like, let me look for a way and buy a phone. I'll work money and buy a phone. If I can go to this part-time job, I can get money and buy a phone. So that's how I started struggling, struggling, struggling. It took me some months, like six months. I didn't have a phone. I was still managing my Infinix. The thing was disturbing me all along. So I struggled now. I bought one phone that has a good camera. I was like, okay, thank God. Now I can open my YouTube channel. Now I didn't know how to edit. I went on YouTube. I was watching how to edit videos. I was watching, ah, I said, I'm gonna start. To, I created my YouTube channel. So I made my video, my first video. So I was also talking about study in China. Then I started going about, by that I was knowing little, little Chinese. I started going about with Chinese. Then I came to have this, my Chinese friend, Linda. So me and Linda, we started making videos like 
oh my god it became very very interesting like guys no matter how youtube is difficult you just need to love what you're doing i loved the thing because i used to enjoy what the maya how he does it and from there i developed a lot of interest about this thing too so i was like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm not gonna end it so i started i was going 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 then youtube policy you know youtube you must have 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours for you to apply for youtube monetization like it's not easy especially to have the 4000 watch hours is a huge work like so so hard so now i decided to put much effort i put much effort i was there then i came to know one guy being real george he added me in a youtube youtubers in china group i now in started interacting with other youtubers here in china so that's how i gained some exposure and i hit 1k subscribers yeah i was so happy guys when i hit 1k subscribers now it was left for me to have the 4000 watch hours I started pushing 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 until i hit the 4000 subscribers then i had to apply for monetization so now art is actually running on my channel so i can make some little dollars on my channel now so now you cannot imagine that today we've gone so far that we've hit 2000 subscribers like guys it's so massive it's not easy for you to have 2000 subscribers on youtube like it's really really hard so that's why you see me being so excited and I wanted to come and share this story on how Wodemaya motivated me so hugely to start a YouTube channel. Like Wodemaya is an inspiration, it's a great inspiration to many youths out there today. Like many youths, I know many youths have not said their own success story but many youths were inspired to start a YouTube channel by Wodemaya just like me. And if they are actually gonna watch this, they are actually gonna say this at the comment section like guys i'm super excited for all those who have been subscribing me i would have wished for this story to be complete but um in order for me not to make this video very very long i think i'm gonna end here because but as time goes on i'm gonna reference him and i'm gonna make the video and i'm gonna share my testimonies as time goes on so guys please if you haven't subscribed to my channel Please kindly do subscribe to my channel like oh my god support your homeboy let me hit 10k subscribers before the end of this year before the end of December my target is to hit 10k subscribers please share my video so help me to subscribe turn on your post notifications so that each time I upload another video you are gonna be the first person to watch I'm a content creator here in China I do videos with my Chinese friend talking about African related content just like what Wodemaya was doing and I also talk about the positive information on news coming from Africa so guys please support me support my channel like I'm so grateful for those who have been doing that already so this is your boy Daddy J Era Cow, and I'm gonna see you back in my next video I hope this my success story has touched you and it's gonna inspire someone to and you're gonna learn to give reference to whom reference or reference is due all right guys i'm gonna see you in my next video ciao ciao peace up bullseye